Good morning, everybody. Hey, now. March 31st, day 90 on the AT. Uh, last night, as soon as the sun went down, uh, got a good picture of the moon with the stars last night my camera doesn't take good pictures in the dark but for some reason this one turned out so I was kind of glad about that you can't make out that the moon was just a little bit more than half but you can definitely tell that uh, it's the moon so uh, went to bed pretty early I think it was 8 30 something like that I didn't have reception so I didn't mess with anything on my phone I just shut it off and went to bed and uh, we had a couple mice running around, but they didn't do anything. They were just making noise. But uh, I slept pretty good. Um, didn't want to, didn't feel like getting motivated this morning. But uh, we got packed up and we're on the trail, and it's eight o'clock. So um, <clears throat> yeah, we uh, got up, and made breakfast, got our stuff out of the bear box, and. Got all packed up and back on trail. Today, we're not sure how far we want to go. Um, for lunch, we're hoping to, I think it's around seven, eight miles. There's a, a hut up here that um, has like a concession stand of selling stuff, but they're not officially open yet. So they just have like a um, microwavable stuff. Hold on a second. It's a little chilly out, and I don't have just shorts and a t-shirt. I'd rather be cold than hot. It's about 40 degrees, but it's supposed to warm up a little bit. But anyway, they uh, sell concession stuff that you can put in the microwave, and I think you have some sodas and beers you can buy. So, not quite sure what we're going to do. We might just uh, have lunch there. And then get like some hot dogs and stuff to cook on a fire. And then just go uh, hang out in a shelter and ride the windstorm out. Or we might uh, uh, run into town for an overnight. I'm not sure yet. But uh, they're calling for it to be pretty bad. We haven't checked the weather. We didn't have any reception last night. So... At lunchtime, we'll check the weather and come up with a game plan, but if at all possible, we'd like to stay out here and just keep pushing. Um, man, with the rain or the wind, it just seems like I never get a chance to put that hammock up. But uh, I've been sleeping good at the shelters. Just after a while, back starts hurting a little bit from that pad. Or it could just be from everything that I've been doing. Who knows? It's a, a different ache and pain every day. That's the AT. So that's the game plan for today. We're just going to go until we don't. Um, looked like uh, we had a pretty good sunrise this morning and then it clouded up. So they're not calling for it till later on this afternoon, but that's what scares me when they say that. So uh, today is... Friday I think yeah I think today's Friday for everybody it they just all run together out here so happy Friday and uh, we'll talk to you when we see something cool have a good day just came out of the two tents shelter pass path and, uh, man, it looks like they got a lot of damage here from, uh, they said they had a big rain, or a, not rain, but, uh, a big ice storm, and then, uh, a lot of snow on top of that, and then they had some winds and everything just snapped off, and there's just stuff laying everywhere.
both sides. Pretty easy walking though. Little side trail this morning. <clears throat> well, these are hard to walk on. little view a nice little good morning view alrighty then a lot of jagged rock here makes it a little tricky to I didn't take my pack off so uh, that little weight throwing you around doesn't help All right, let's get back on trail. Been struggling to find something that's filling and good to eat for dinner. And uh, came across the good one I concocted. I took a chicken ramen and a half a packet of garlic mashed potatoes and a packet of white chicken from Star Kiss Tuna. Not the tuna, the chicken. And, uh, you know, bring water to a boil. Add all that stuff. Stir it all up and let it sit. And then add pepper. Hey now. Good stuff. I've had that a couple times already. Now I'm going to try and find out how to do the one with beef. I've got to figure out what, I could, what kind of meat I could put in with the beef. But I tell you what, that stuff is good. All right, just thought I'd show you that. Got a little friend in the woods. A couple friends. Exhibit A and Exhibit B. <whistles> Man. They're like, holy hell. Get out of here. They let Fred out. <laughs> All right, that's the wildlife for today. Hey now, just stopped to take a little snack and pack break. Got about four miles until the wayside hut. But we're gonna charge up, fuel up, water up, get some reception hopefully and find out what kind of uh, deal mother nature is gonna throw at us and then decide what we're gonna do. But uh, for now, just enjoying this crisp, cool morning. Cloudy, breezy, a little chilly. But once you start hiking and start doing some hills, it's perfect. All right, we see something cool, we'll let you know. But other than sporadically seeing the mountain through the trees, <clears throat> And that one viewpoint back there is about it so far. So, um, saw some deer this morning already. <clears throat> saw two of them. And then one by itself. 
a little further down the trail. So other than that, trucking along. We'll talk to you soon. Pretty cloudy. Hope it holds off. <clears throat> but we're ready for it if it doesn't. Well, we made it to Elk Swallow Wayside and Store and it's closed. I don't know whether to swear or cry. Oh man, I was looking forward to a cheeseburger or a hot dog. <laughs> That's what we get for this time of year. I thought some of them were open now. We haven't seen any open. One. one was open. You guys hit that one. That's right. Oh man. A lot of sadness. That's a pretty cool place though. I bet you this place is humming in the summer. Oh, we can wait. Maybe they'll open tomorrow. Close for the season. Opening sometime in April. Alright. Well, regardless, lunch is going to be had. then we stopped at that uh, wayside everything was closed so we were told most of them were open one of them was open and that was just for very minimal things you could get microwave hot dogs or hamburgers and maybe some fuel and uh, some sodas and beers that was about it that was the section that I was hiking and point seven took off <clears throat> that was the only one that was open in the whole park so anyway no big deal so uh, that hum we've been hearing all day just solved that mystery you saw what that was they were cleaning and painting the lines on the road um, we stopped at that Elks Hollow and uh, Elks Hollow or Elks Wallow, I, for, I forget what it is. Anyway, we stopped there and uh, everything was closed. So we made lunch and then uh, we looked everywhere for water. They didn't have water. But then we saw um an ice machine and uh it was a plastic line so i had to turn it on and let it run for a while but it ended up turning tasting pretty good then so we got water and they had uh some electrical outlets for the ice machines they were all unplugged but the electrical outlets still worked so i stayed there for about an hour and a half and charged some things up. The point seven took off for the shelter. So I'm gonna meet her there. And uh, we're gonna stay at the first shelter because the second one is pretty far out there. We had had like 14 more miles, something like that. 14 or 15 more miles. And it's supposed to start storming and get colder. So we didn't want to risk it. So uh, I'm going to meet her at that shelter and we'll go from there. 
Well, we'll probably just end up staying there. But that's the game plan for now. We are headed uphill, going north. Okay, now, just a couple things I wanted to document. Uh, one, 0.7 is feeling much better. Um, much better mood, feels much better, pain's much better. So, uh, that's good. And uh, second thing, see the rain cover. See my umbrella's ready. It started to rain, and the wind kicked up wind's still going but as soon as I put it on it stopped so hopefully that's a little insurance policy but other than that we got about five and a half miles to the first shelter and then I think it's like 10 or 12 after that is the next one and I doubt we're gonna be shooting for that one with the coming so uh, probably just riding out this wicked wind in the shelter and uh, see what happens Talk to you soon. Quick little opening here. Ah, it's getting pretty nasty. Got my, got my umbrella up, but it's like a parachute. I'd say the storm's rolling in. So, that's a quick view of that one. Started raining pretty good, so I put the umbrella up. Alright, we just climbed to the top of a pretty scenic overlook here. Oh, look, there's Skyline Drive right here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty cool. Couple cars down there. Getting the views the easy way. All right, let me back this back. Let me back this back in. There we go. All right, we need to continue on because the rain's picking up, and I don't feel like getting drenched and then getting cold. That's where we're going. There's a little opening right here. <laughs> Can't see far because of the clouds, but still pretty nonetheless. All right. Still heading towards the shelter. Still raining. Wind's picking up. I have absolutely no reception here. Whoever said there's all kinds of Verizon cell phone service in the Shenandoah National Park, they're out of their gourd. There's z z z almost zero. Very, very once, very, very minimal once in a while. You'll get one bar just enough to get a text out, and as soon as you send a text, boom, no service. Now, point seven has AT&T, and she's had much better luck. So, just a word to the wise if you plan on doing this. <clears throat> the 
think this runs along the ridge for a little bit and then it dips down to the shelter and then after the shelter it comes back up on the ridge for a while and then I think it's 10 12 more miles to another shelter something like that all right let's get her done that last view spot was hog back overlook 3394 elevation and uh, we got, I think, two more coming up. I think we got Hogsback Mountain, and I forget what the other one is. I'll check it, but uh, that was for that one. I'll check on the ones coming up. And we did pass uh, a trail that led off. It's been through the whole park, it's been like that, but there's constantly trails that are uh, crossing the AT, but we passed the Tuscarora Trail. And the Tuscarora Trail will actually take you to Carlisle, PA, where the AT is. So that'd be a neat little uh, stretch to take sometime. Just uh, further information and uh, signs that we're getting closer to PA. All right. We have Little Hogback Overlook coming up, and then Little Hogback Mountain. So uh, let's go see what we can find. Up there is a pull-off off of Skyline Drive. That's where we're going. This is Little Hogback Mountain. This is the overlook. 3,052 elevation. That's where we came over. We came over that. Now we're heading, heading on up again. At least the rain stopped for now, but the wind's still picking up. Some fancy new road here. That's where we're going. Dang. All right, we have about... 1.5 miles to the shelter. And while they're playing games with me, it rains, I put my umbrella up, it stops. I take it down, it starts raining again. And the only reason I take it down because it's so windy, it's blowing all over the place and it's yanking me all around because it's like a parachute. But, uh, Oh well, such is the day's weather. Oh, let's get it ready to walk. All right, we left Pass Mountain Hut this morning and we made it to Gravel Springs Hut. It was a 13.1 mile day. Uh, we would like to have gone farther, but the next shelter is pretty far. So we made it to these luxury accommodations that are a little bit more shitty <laughs> than last night. And the book says that there's a uh, rat and mice in here. So, And it's supposed to be windy and rainy and wicked outside. So, yeah, fun times. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, we're going to hunker down for the night if we can't get a hold of anybody and uh we'll see what we can do but uh march 31st day 90 13.1 on the appalachian trail uh stay tuned this shit show is about to get good uh, i think this is where our resident rat likes to hang out and um yeah. 
A lot of nice holes for rain to come in. This is pretty sweet. I guess if you had to stay here, it'd be better than being outside, but I don't know how much better. Yeah. Alrighty then. Back on trail. Thank goodness. Just out of the blue. 0.7 with AT&T. Just got enough service to check in with somebody that wanted to help out in the area. And they said, I can pick you up in an hour. And uh, there's a parking lot 0.2 away. And then she lost service. Wow. You talk about lucky. That was 0.2 miles straight down into the hollow. And that is probably the worst shelter I've seen uh, so far on the trail. But uh, if it weren't calling for such bad weather, I'd put the hammock up. I don't care if it was going to rain or be windy, but high wind warning in that area it was in, not happening. I'm not staying in that shelter. Well, I wouldn't have had a choice, but oh my gosh, you talk about a blessing in disguise. Wow, we really got lucky. So, that being said, this wonderful lady is going to pick us up and take us into town. We're going to find a place to stay, whether it's a motel, no tell, hotel, hostel, I really don't care. So, uh, stay tuned, the adventure continues. Nice turn on Stonewall Jackson Highway. 